This is Jim Shortreed from the Victoria Hearing Enhancement Project, reporting to you from Victoria. Jim Shortreed here, Victoria Hearing Enhancement Project, aboard Island Prism, downtown Victoria, January 2022. Legend has it that you could go up to the Craig Flower Bridge and catch a bucket full of herring in no time, and then come back to the Empress for afternoon tea. Alas, not now. Last year, it seems there were very few herring caught off the Craig Flower Bridge, which is a darn crying shame, because we have 66 hectares of healthy eel grass, which is the preferred spawning substrate of the Pacific herring, which is probably why the Esquimalt Gorge Pacific Herring was so incredibly populous in its day. Or are we just not looking hard enough? We need volunteer observers. If you'll be out walking or boating the gorge or fishing the Craig Flower Bridge this February, March and April, and if you take wildlife photos anyways, please, please consider the next easy step of archiving your photos on National Geographic iNaturalist. If you do see the spawn of the elusive distinct genome Esquimalt Gorge Pacific Herring, there are tried and proven herring spawn enhancement techniques. In the case of False Creek, they have built a remnant population to 38 tons, returning to spawn every spring. Bay in the spring of 2021, about six miles north of here. Over the years, many volunteers, as well as World Fisheries Trust, CRD, Saanich, and all you other GWI members, have done great work to make your gorge clean, healthy, and ready for herring spawning. If 66 hectares of herring spawned, the gorge would fill up with birds, seals, and sea lions, returning coho, and resident chinook. Outside on Constance Bank, Large salmon, halibut, and whales would live off the herring of the gorge. It's easy to be an observer. There's an app for that. And then we can find the remnant spawn. Thank you. Jim Shortreed.